uh, she had a part-time job and didn't have enough money to support her young children. So she had turned at times to prostitution. And he had sent food down through Caritas, the um, you know, Catholic charity organization, to feed the kids and the, and, the, and the woman. And she came around Christmas and asked for him. He came down and said, oh, I'm glad you got the food. And she said, well, thank you for the food, but I really wanted to thank you because you always called me Senora. And um, the respect. it's respect, and it's like seeing into that person's soul and figuring out that what they really needed was the food, of course, but what they really, really needed was to be treated with respect and to be treated as a human being. You know, it's these little gestures uh, that he does when he invites homeless people to, his, to the Vatican for his birthday, when he goes and visits prisoners. When he comes to America and he gets in a fiat, and you know, all the big leadership in America gets in those huge SUVs <laughs> and that 78-year-old man gets in the back seat of a little Fiat. I mean, he's sending a message to us. And I think that's a huge challenge. So for me,